now. Sitting in your chair, I'm going to talk a little bit about proper sitting posture before we go on to the cool down exercises. When you're sitting in a chair, you should have good support for your upper back so you can sit up straight in an upright position without straining your back muscles. Therefore, the back of the chair must provide support for your upper back in an upright position. Now, you may need to add a wedge or a backrest to help support your back if the chair doesn't provide proper support. So your upper back is supported, your shoulders are relaxed, your head is erect with your chin in for proper cervical posture. Now, don't let your shoulders round or your upper back round forward, so you have to hyperextend your neck to hold your head up. Shoulders are down, head up, chin in, head erect, back is supported by the chair. Now your lower back is in a slight pelvic tilt. Your knees are either level with your hips or slightly above hip level. If your legs aren't very long or your chair is too high, you may need to use a foam look to put under your feet in order to raise your knees slightly higher than your hips for the best sitting posture. Now keeping a strong pelvic tilt, upper back is supported, shoulders down, head erect. Now we don't need the foam look for the cool down exercise. So take a deep breath in, arms up overhead, expanding the upper chest, and exhale, bringing the arms down. Now, bring your knees farther apart and slowly relax your body over, bringing your chest between your knees. Nice, easy stretch. Letting your back relax out. Now, walk your hands over to the outside of your left foot, bringing your right ear and shoulder down towards your left knee. Walk your hands back center and relax in the center again, letting your back stretch out. And walk your hands over to the outside of your right leg, bringing your left ear and shoulder down toward your right knee. And walk your hands back center and relax over one more time. And now slowly roll up back rounded and put your hands on your knees. Now bring your left shoulder into the center, twisting your spine slightly and up. Now bring your right shoulder into the center, twisting the spine a little bit and up. Now your left shoulder again into the center and up. Once again with the right shoulder into the center and up. Now bring your knees back together, put your left hand on the side of the chair, and reach up and out with your right arm. Keep your right hip flat down on the floor, stretching out the right side of your waist. And come up center, and put your right arm on the chair, and lift up and out with your left arm, keeping your left hip flat down on the chair, stretching the left side of your waist. up center. Now again over to the left side, stretching the right side of your waist, hips flat down on your chair. Now curl your back, reaching out with that arm, rounding the spine, head is down, stretching the muscles on the right side of your spine. And slowly roll up. And now over to the right side, lifting up and out with the left arm, stretching the muscles on the left side of your waist. Left hip flat down on your chair. Now curl your body, rounding your back, and reach out with that arm, stretching all the muscles on the left side of your spine. And slowly roll up. Now shrug your shoulders up and hold. And press down. Now, if you have arms on your chair, you can push your elbows straight down into the arms of the chair, using the resistance of the arms of the chair. And again, shoulders come up and hold. And down and press, using the shoulder depressor muscles. And relax and rotate your shoulders out again. Now keep your chin in, head erect. And rotate your head looking over your left shoulder. And back center. And look over your right shoulder. And 
back center. Now bring your chin down to your chest. Nice, easy stretch. You should be able to stretch a little bit more at the end of the day than you can first thing in the morning. And up center. And looking up at the ceiling. And back center. Now keep your chin in, head erect, and bring your left ear over to your left shoulder. And up. And the right ear comes over to the right shoulder. And back center. Now you can do these chair exercises anytime during the day if your back is bothering you. It's an easy series that you can do at your office or at home to give your back a little break from the stress of the day. Now you can do the shoulder shrugs and the neck exercises to help release some of the tension that you get in your upper trapezius muscles and shoulders and neck. So these are some helpful exercises that you can do on your own. Now slowly stand up and move your chair because we're going to do the rest of the program in a standing position. Now turn your body to the right. Step out with your right leg and lunge forward, bending your right knee, pressing your left hip forward. Keep your body upright, hold your pelvis in a pelvic tilt so that you don't release your back. This should feel the stretch in the front of your hip flexor muscles on your left leg. Now be sure both feet are straight ahead so the leg doesn't turn out. If your heel cords are really tight, you may have to turn out your leg. Keep your hips square so you feel the proper stretch. If you don't feel this stretch in your hip flexors, then you probably need to adjust your position in one of the ways I've already mentioned. Now stand up straight and turn your body over to the left. Bending the left knee, press the right hip forward. Remember your pelvic tilt, don't let your back arch, as long as you're stretching those hip flexor muscles on the right. Be sure to keep both feet straight ahead if you can, but again, if your heel cords are tight, you can turn that leg out. Feeling the stretch at the front of your right hip. And stand up, bring your feet together so they're directly under your hip. Hands are behind your back. Now flat back, head up, bend forward. Curl your body over and slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head coming up last. And again, flat back over, head is up. Now bend your knees, roll your body over. Curl your back and slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head come up last. Now the last thing I want you to do is stand against a wall. Place your feet a few inches away from the wall with your feet directly in line with your hips. Your bottom and your upper back should be touching the wall. But there's a space between your low back and the wall. I want you to eliminate that space by doing a pelvic tilt, contracting your abdominal muscles, pressing the small of your back back against the wall, rocking your pelvis toward you just like you did when you were lying on your back on the floor. Now bend your knees, so 